Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing okay. I just finished, I'm finishing watching a 1972 TV movie. And I love seeing what movies and TV appearances my favorite Twilight Zone actors and actresses appear in. And um, I find this quite eerie and um okay um in 1959 uh there's an episode called um and when the sky was opened okay it's a 1959 episode from the first season rod taylor uh stars as a pilot of an experimental craft and I want you to focus on him. There's only this one brief scene. Unfortunately, the scene I wanted is not available um, that really shows him um, in the hospital and towards, um, you know, the scene I wanted. Okay, so... Okay, let me... Play this. Now, um, the only scene that's available on this video. Okay. The ship crashes. And all the pilots end up in the hospital. Okay, just remember that, okay. They're in the hospital. Okay. There's a 1959 episode of The Twilight Zone. And Rod Taylor plays one of the spacemen. Uh, one of the pilot pilot space crap <coughs> and being in the hospital. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. So here we go. Rod Serling, The Twilight Zone, episode 11, first season, and when the sky was open. Her name X. Her type, an experimental interceptor. Recent history, a crash landing in the Mojave Desert. After a 31-hour flight 900 miles into space. Incidental data, the ship with the men who flew her disappeared from the radar screen for 24 hours. Well, hello, Colonel. How are you feeling? I'm fine, Lieutenant. I'm fine. I'm fine. Major Guard here? Well, of course. He's here. Of course. Um, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. Isn't that one of the space pilots, the ones that crashed? Yeah. That's Colonel Forbes. But the shrouds that cover mysteries are not always made out of a tarpaulin, as this man will soon find out on the other side of a hospital door. Okay, now 12 years later, 12 years later, Rod Taylor stars in a TV movie called Family Flight, in which he's a pilot of a uh, small plane with his family. Now, something is said here that is quite interesting. Radio report from the FAA, sir. Uh, that plane's been missing for a week. The pilot of record is the boy's father. He must be the injured man. The boy's name is David Carlisle. No current pilot license. We have aircraft in sight bearing two zero zero degrees. Okay, did you catch that? Okay, I'll repeat both again. Okay, listen again. Her name, X-20. Her type, an experimental interceptor. Recent history, a crash landing in the Mojave Desert. After a 31-hour flight 900 miles into space. Incidental data, the ship with the men who flew her disappeared from the radar screen for 24 hours. Okay. You got that?
Radio report from the FAA, sir. Uh, that plane's been missing for a week. The missing for a week. So, in the Twilight Zone episode, it went off the radar and was missing for 24 hours. Here, this plane went off the radar and was missing for a week. Okay. Incidental data. The ship with the men who flew her disappeared from the radar screen for 24 hours. Well, hello, Colonel. How are you feeling? I'm fine, Tim. I'm, I'm fine. Um, the Major Guard here? Well, of course. He's here. Of course. Um, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. Dad? How you doing? From the wrong side. Commission or something like that? Not yet. Guess I gotta add flight pay. Well, I already owe you. That's cancelled. I owe you. You glad they saved your own? Oh. You know it. You flew me to the best hospital in a thousand miles. Now, since I'm unable to pre present the whole episode, there was a scene in Twilight Zone at the end of his appearance where he says, while he's laying in bed, or while he's sitting there, what a feeling. It's like, I don't belong. And he makes that exact same speech delivery. So, uh, for those who know the episode, you know what I'm talking about. When he makes that same uh, observation that ha Harrington did before he disappeared. That someone, something made a mistake and let him go through. And he could just let go. And it was like a, sort of like a serenity coming over. But it's the same delivery in speaking as in this 1972 movie. So for those who are Twilight Zone fans, I give you a little rare treat. Rod Taylor, 12 years later, as a pilot who crashed in the desert and then ends up in the hospital. Hmm. Interesting, very coincidental. So, um, I, I just find it uncanny, you know, that in the Twilight Zone episode, he was a pilot, a spaceman, but a pilot. His ship, plane, crashes in the desert, both the ship and the plane. The ship from 1959 and the plane from 1972 both crashed uh, in the desert and they both wind up in the hospital. Um, I, I, I find that wildly coincidental. So anyway, it's a, it's a great movie. It's a feel-good movie. So um, if you're an a aviator, uh, airplane uh, movie buff like me and a Twilight Zone fan like me, you'll really enjoy this movie called Family Flight. I highly recommend it. It's a great movie. Okay, guys, that's it. Take care and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later. Okay, bye.